Friends, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy Chronicles. My name is Courtney and I'm so glad you found your way to my little corner of the internet. Friends, today we are doing an unstuffing and restuffing in the big box of savings. Let's get into it. Okay, so while we're doing this, I am going to answer some questions I did put out there for a Q&A. So we are going to start with our little one over here, our $500 challenge. I'm trying to see how far. There we go. And we're going to reallocate this one because there's some big numbers on here I don't think I'll ever get to. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to clean it off first and just so you guys know, laminated challenges work really well a magic eraser just gets it all right off voila nice and clean i missed a spot there but that's okay okay so while we're in stuffing this um, I am going to answer some questions. So, um, I had a few people ask questions and I did get, it was short notice. So if you missed Sunday's video, I will link it. Basically just asking for any questions to answer while I am doing this. All right. So our first one comes from Cheryl over at Green Rain 84. And Cheryl asked, what would my last meal, I'm guessing like, de she means like death row meal. What would my death row meal be? Um, oh, that's a tough one. It would probably be steak, mashed potatoes, um, green beans, asparagus, and then like some kind of like pot. I would have all the desserts. Like chocolate cake, pie, brownies, ice cream, all of it. And then I would have, I don't even know what I would have to drink. But yes, it would be definitely like a good, a really good steak and potatoes. That will, I, that always has my heart is a good, good meat and taters. Okay, so this one will be quick because there's not as many. Alrighty, so we've, in this one so far, we have saved, we'll count it real quick, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 95, uh, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 135, fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to set this in here, and then we are going to start divvying this up. So yes, some kind of steak and potatoes and then all the desserts. I want apple pie and ice cream. I want a chocolate lava cake and ice cream. <laughs> all the desserts. Okay, so we're going to start with this 55 because I know that I will never get to that one. So 20, 30, 40, 55. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm going to rotate through. Next question came from Tracy over at Savings with Tracy. And she asked me, we're going to do 30. Okay, so she asked, how many chickens will we consider to be topped out at? That is a wonderful question. Um, and also, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. No, I'm totally joking. I honestly have no idea when we'll stop. Um, right now, our space is probably at its limit. <laughs> like our coop, it's probably like topped out that said I still think um I make oh oh the peanut gallery who is supposed to be reading his book just informed me that we still have space for more so next year we could add more 5 10 15 25 and 30 so um truth be told I don't know I honestly have just been um buying more because I like to have the eggs and it's nice to be able to give them to neighbors um, and friends and whatnot. And then we did just start selling them um, to some people. And I don't sell them for much because that's I'm not in it to like sell them. It's just kind of, it's fun for us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
Okay, so we have 20. So let's do a 20. So yeah, um, honestly, that's a great question. I have no idea when we're going to top them out. Um, maybe next year. Maybe we'll get another dozen. Who knows? I honestly have been chasing after an egg rainbow. So trying to get all the pretty colors of the rainbow <laughs> for eggs. Um, so this year we added in two of the, I think I told you guys this, two of the prairie bluebells. They are considered a designer breed. So they um, will are supposed to lay like a really pretty like bright blue egg. So that's the hope. Um, who knows? I might get more of those. I don't know at this point. I just, I haven't gotten that far. Okay, that one is done. Now we're going to go, we're going to save the best for last. We're going to save the unstuffing for last. So now we are going to erase off this. And then I got to go and I got to find, this is the downside of when you don't know how far to go. Okay, those ones are big numbers. Okay, we're going to have to stop for a second because I mixed big numbers with little numbers. Okay, I found them all. Holy bagoli. I, uh, that was a mistake. I forgot that we, um, put our tax return money that I had gotten into here and I did it right in the middle. Um, so I did not have my ducks in a row on that one. Okay, so let's unstuff these ones and then we'll reallocate and see how far we can go. Okay, so that brings us to our next question, which comes from the ever lovely Haley Rain, who likes to just keep me on my toes. I tell you, she says it's a tradition now that every time I do a Q&A, she's going to ask me one of these. So I got an FMK. And if you don't know what that means, Google it. Um, so she, my options this time are, um, emergency fund, holiday, Christmas envelope, or home, homesteading envelopes. All right. This is going to take some brain power. So for a good time, F for a good time, um, would be my holiday envelopes because they are always going to be for a good time. Um, Mary... M, my M, that one would be my homesteading envelopes. So like our chickens, our garden, stuff like that. Um, and I would get rid of my emergency fund for the pure fact that I would want to live a life where I don't need one. That That is my justification in that. Um, I will say this one I feel like was a little bit easier for me to, to wrap my brain around than some of the other ones she's given me because like dang girl I mean they're good they're good so yes I would stay married to my homesteading envelopes I would get rid of my emergency fund and for a good time would be my holiday envelopes because they are for a good time okay while we're still going okay so we're gonna jump back up to um, Cheryl at Green Rain 84, she asked, um, when both kids are in school, will I go back to work? Um, probably I don't want to, like, I don't want to do something that would interfere with being able to be there for the kids. So like, I'd probably find a job at the school, like, um, doing like what my mom does or just subbing. Um, I kind of hope that my YouTube will take off and flourish so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but I would want to be able to find something that works within the kids' school schedule or something that I can do at home so that I can be available for, like, field trips and when they start getting into sports in high school and games and that I'm not having to constantly, like, fight for time off because I did that for a period of my life where I constantly was fighting for time off. And not much either. <laughs> That's what horrible management will do. Um, I did not fight for much, but it was enough that I was constantly, like, battling. And it was always, like, I could never tell anybody when I wanted to, to take time off because then they would take it. And, yeah, just not, not a good, not a good time. So, all right, friends, let us see how much we have. I should have grabbed a calculator. I didn't. I might have to go grab my calculator. So, 
1 through 26, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 300, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 39. Let me go grab my calculator. That way we know how much, where we're going, how much we're putting. And we're going to get some big numbers knocked out. We're at least going to be able to do, like, for sure, like three or four, which will be great. Okay, calculator in hand. So, let me adjust this really quick. Where were we? Okay, we are adding funds. So, looks like we ended with 86. So, we're going to move on to 85. Okay, so, yes. Anyway, I think my last question was... Um, would I go back to work? Um, and the answer is uh, uh, yes, but I'd really love for this to make me enough money that I don't have to. That way I can hang out with the kids and just keep up with their activities. 80, one, two, three, four. Okay. Next question from Savings with Tracy again. She asked what kind of dogs we have. So we have two wonderful mutts. Um, we have my husband's dog who we got um, right after or right before we got married. The fall before we got married. Um, her name is Copper. She is the mutt of all mutts. So her mom was a full bred Australian shepherd. Dad was a Great Dane Mastiff border collie mix. Crazy, right? Um, she turned out super cute. So she's basically looks like a short haired Aussie. Um, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80. One, two, three. Um, but yeah, so her coloring is, um, Aussie and then she's short hair and then she's got ears like a ears, jowls and tail, like the Mastiff and Great Dane, um, which is hilarious. And then she's built very much like a collie and has the same kind of like excited temperament as a collie. So she's a wild one. She's getting, she will be, she's nine this year. Yeah. She's nine years old, which is just wild. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, so we have 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 82. That's a gonna be a thick envelope. Oh, she, yep, she, we're, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna test the limits on these. <laughs> oh, did it. Okay, so we were able to get four big ones knocked out, which is incredible. So we got to 82. This one's kind of slow moving. I want to get it done by July, but now that our next one, our 50 envelope is done, I'm going to be able to put a ton more towards it. So exciting, exciting. And then we have one, two, three, four, and five left. So we will color in number five. <clears throat> and we will start again, my friends. We will start again. Hopefully we'll be able to put more and more in here. I need to see how much. I need to do a, like a rough budget with me. Like or a rough budget for what our Yellowstone trip is going to cost. And see like truthfully like how much we need. Um, but I know we need more than what we have in there. So now tis time friends. Tis time to do the major unstuffing of the 50 envelope challenge. Okay so. I will answer the last couple questions I have 
Look, I didn't even need my calculator. That was ridiculous. Okay, um, and then whatever when I'm done answering questions, I will just speed you guys through the rest of it. So, um, okay, so we asked, answered what our doggies are. So, next up, we go back to um, Haley. So, Haley asked, um, how does our homesteading like change our taxes? Um, do we are we able to write things off as business expenses? Um, so basically we are, our homesteading, if you will, um, is not like, we're not like a legitimate, we don't, we don't have a business for it. Um, so it is purely just for funsies. Um, I did look up and I, I am by no means a professional or an expert by any means of any of it. Um, but, I looked up a few things and it did say like we could do we can follow cottage laws as long as we don't make a certain amount um, for our state so like if you wanted to do like a farm stand or like farmers markets you just have to follow your local state's cottage laws I did learn that um, so like our local state cottage laws actually like wouldn't allow us to sell eggs um, so like we just sell them to friends and honestly, I just started selling them up until literally recently. We were just giving them away <laughs> because it's more fun for us. And it's kind of like teaching the kids responsibility and whatnot, too. Um, so, no, it doesn't affect our taxes because we don't um, do anything like that. <laughs> it is not um, that kind of a structure for us, if you will. Um, and then she had a two-parter to that is, how do you start a homestead? Where did, uh, we, where did we start? So, um, sorry guys, I'm coughing. So if there's some cuts in here, it's cause I'm, I'm hacking up my lung. I'm getting better. I promise my cough just wants to not go away. Um, so as far as like starting homesteading, so we live on, um, property. So we do rent. However, our house is on a parcel of technically according to the county it's like 16 acres but the way it's shaped I don't know some surveyor did something stupid at one point in time and basically um it should be like 22 acres 21 or 22 in total with the way the land is shaped so basically um we are fortunate to have the space to garden and have chickens and um have peace and quiet and nobody to bother us and all the good things um and we just so we got chickens two years ago right two years ago yeah because my son is two and my husband brought home chickens when I was one month postpartum and I hated them I didn't want them because I had to take care of them which was not my idea of fun when I had a newborn baby so yes <laughs> now I've grown now that I'm home I've actually grown quite attached to them and I think they're a lot of fun and I like getting the egg rainbow so basically ultimately um we just we do what we can on our little piece um I wouldn't necessarily call us homesteaders by any means I mean I guess you, I don't know what that like I don't know what the definition of that really means I think being more self-sufficient um is definitely a goal of ours so like I bought stuff to learn how to can the vegetables that we have and we do have like a food storage and we have a, we're working on like building water storage and things like that just so that we can be a little more self-reliant. That's why we have our joking end of the world envelope is so that we can be um, a little less dependent on um, the system. Not even the system, just that we have the things we need should, should anything happen. A snowstorm, a power outage, both of things which are happened. We get, we've gotten a couple windstorms. Um, not recently, but in years past that has knocked out our power for um, days on end. So we've had to function. Um, it's killed our, like grocery, like our local grocery store and our power, things like that. So ultimately, the tangent is um, how to, how did we, I don't know that I call us a homestead. Um, like we have a garden, we have chickens. Um, we have like, so we do our own eggs. I just started 
recently like making my own bread because I found a recipe that's like super easy and I actually I have the time to do it um but it's kind of one of those where I just started slowly like making my own things trying them out trying to make things from scratch um buying less convenience items it's been kind of fun anyway but how where where do you start um I think it's just I mean honestly it's starting with I think just um doing things for yourself instead of relying on those convenience pieces you know making making bread from scratch making biscuits from scratch um if you can have chickens getting chickens start small I have a good friend of mine that she has just four chickens in her backyard and they make her happy and um she gets enough eggs from them to make herself what she needs I think she still buys eggs from the store kind of thing but um the other thing too is is we we already had chickens before the whole egg shortage price increase and now actually in our state so I live in Washington state they passed a law um about all eggs have to come from chickens that are cage free and like, I don't know the logistics on all of that, but basically it has driven the price of all eggs at the grocery store up. So I haven't really priced them out recently, but I know they're not, they're not cheap by any means, but we sell our eggs for $3 a dozen, which some people think is too low. Um, like our neighbor, I think she sells them to her coworkers for $5 a dozen. One of my good friends sells hers to her co-workers for five dollars a dozen um like I said I don't I don't need like we, we we're able to pay for the feed and everything on our own like you know as the flock gets bigger <laughs> if we keep adding more I might need to make some adjustments however at the moment it does what it needs to so anyway I hope that answered the question probably not it probably was a very roundabout way of answering nothing at all but um you just kind of start doing things for yourself, I think. You know, there's not, you don't have to, it's not, it doesn't have to be difficult. I'm not a sourdough person. I haven't, like, I have not been able to find something to do with sourdough that is a simple recipe because that's the thing. If it takes me too long, no thanks. If it has to be constantly babysat, not happening. Um, and who knows, maybe I'm going to learn patience when I start canning. We'll see how that goes. I did get a water bath canner, so we're going to see how we can do with that. I may change my ways and get a pressure canner. We will see. One of my good friends says that she borrowed a pressure canner and then invested in one because they're not cheap. Marlene said she, Marlene over at Snow Gardener 307, she's got um, a pressure canner. And I need to find out what brand she got because I'm thinking I need to save up and invest in a pressure canner because apparently it saves all kinds of time. So we will see. Okay. Real quick, as I'm laying down our last bills, last question comes from Cheryl at Green Rain 84, and this one made me absolutely cackle. She said, were Ross and Rachel on a break? So fair, fair is fair. I have not watched Friends in a long time. I need to go back and like rewatch the series, um, but I'm going to say yes, and that might get me some hate, and that's okay, but I don't, like, honestly, I don't remember <laughs> I don't remember um a lot of the series but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they were I'm gonna say yes yes they were anyway okay now we're gonna count and see how much we saved it should be it should be 1275 unless I mess something up so 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 80 500 20 40 60 80 600 20 40 60 80 700 20 40 so 740 <clears throat> 50 60 70 80 90 8 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 9 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 1000 10 20 30 so 1030 5 45 55 65 75 85 95 1100 5 10 15 25 35 45 55 65 75 
so 1,175. Does that mean I have 101s? Ew, gross. All right. 76, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,200. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, <clears throat> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And honestly, I think I, I know I have 75 in here because some of these ones were nasty and sticking together. So we ain't recounting that by any means. So yes, thank you lovelies for your questions. We got our 1275. So how this is going to be dispersed is we are going to, I will put it in my next cash stuffing video, not the one you see tomorrow, but next week's. Um, this is going to go into family photos um, for my birthday and then we're going to figure out where we're going to put the rest of it because we've got some money to play with. So we're going to figure out where we want to put the rest of it. Okay, friends, no idea what just happened. F said my phone storage was full, even though it's not, so I'm going to be really quick. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep hanging out, hit that subscribe button. And friends, until next time, remember to spread kindness like glitter. Bye, y'all.